Sibo. Sibo. Oh, Sibo. Nice mm. to meet you. Sorry, I'm vlogging. Oh, okay, I can just. Can see. you? <laughs> Listen, are you not okay? I am. <laughs> oh my god, I follow you. I follow you. Say hello to you? my subby. I don't know if you should be blocking <laughs> me now. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am about to head out to Gateway. I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping at Edgar's. Well, it's mostly gonna be makeup shopping because I've got a lot of things I wanna buy on my wish list. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can find a few cute outfits and um, yeah, I'll see you at Gateway. Bye. So I ended up going to Pav instead because there's just too much traffic on the road like I checked the navigator and there's too much traffic so I really don't want to be caught up in that because it's so hot so I'm just gonna go to Edgar's pavilion and um, yeah like I said I'm makeup shopping maybe some skincare maybe I cute Ugh, my hair is just not behaving well wow. see you just now Um, stop I'm gonna be making is Kelso Beauty obviously because I've never ever tried anything from Kelso Beauty so I'm just gonna try see if there's anything that stands out for me and there's anything I'm excited to try I'm definitely gonna try the foundation because I've seen it on my Instagram and um, yeah so pretty I've always loved oh this is like a chrome so I know this looks really pretty under color eyeshadow goes for about 120 so I'm definitely gonna don't want it to break so I'm just gonna place it down here and I want some foundation but I'm not too sure on which one is gonna be my shade this one looks a little too cool. This definitely looks like more my shade. And this is in the shade Kimberly's Praline. So I'm gonna take this. If it's not my shade, I'm gonna use it on my clients. Next thing I'm gonna be getting is some highlighter. Now this is from Inglot. I am always wearing this, but unfortunately I'd rather look at how stunning this is this is a lot but this looks so so beautiful i am gonna put it in a tutorial so you guys can see how stunning it is called the inglot, inglot sparkling dust this is what it looks like and it's in the shade zero three i've never tried anything from dior so i'm gonna try some dior today and um yeah maybe some perfume or some lipstick hello how are you i'm good i've never tried any makeup from dior so what would you recommend okay cool what's your name sibu oh sibu nice to meet you sorry i'm vlogging Okay, I can just can see. you <laughs> listen? Are you not okay? I am. Oh my god, I follow you. I follow you. Say hello to my subbies. I don't know if you should be blocking me now. <laughs> I think that it's almost live. Okay, um, it's out and about. Um, okay. most people just really, really like the light texture. We don't, we don't bake the baking is it? Needs yeah, to go. no, I hate baking okay. as well. So, this is like your face and body foundation. Okay, um, and then obviously, we have palettes. Highlights and palettes. Okay. I mean, it's, this season is all about the glow. It's yes, all about yes, yes. your list. It's, it's all about looking natural. We obviously, go with the color that matches your neckline. That's mm -hmm. very important. Uh, we have lip tattoos instead of just tattoo your color. 
so it just sort of pops in your color. So what foundation really are you wearing? It I looks am like, rather so wearing stunning. the big stage foundation. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's okay. very lightweight, it's very flawless, natural finished glow. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of this on YouTube, so yeah. I think I want one. Oh, lovely. Can we try one? Yes, please. Sure. So, I am getting swatched for the Dior backstage foundation, which looks amazing. So, so excited. I've been wanting to. So even the brushes, it's just maybe just to touch up after your face is done, you go on a ramp and when you obviously get back, you just touch you up. Oh, okay. And how's the coverage? The coverage is light texture but it's buildable. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it can amount to use from your needle to your fuller coverage. Okay, cool. So it's, it's just lovely one. And you are neutral. It sort of gives you that matte it looks finish, so beautiful. and then eventually it goes matte. Oh. So it goes according to your undertone and your mm. skin texture, you know. It looks so flawless. Love, love, That's love, love the backstage. As well. Love, love, love. <laughs> Even guys can wear it, guys. Really? Ew. No, but you look so good. You just Thank look like you have flawless skin. Thank you. Look at that. Love, 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 love it. Okay. And the so shopping for lipstick here at Chanel. Um, this is the one that I initially went to, but I'm being convinced otherwise. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I'm here at Benefits, and apparently they have a special on the highbrow, and I'm not too sure. What's this? That's your lip gloss. Lip gloss. Mm -hmm their poor professional primer which is like the best primer in the whole wide world and their Hula Benefits bronzer so I think I'm gonna get that because apparently it's worth a thousand but it's going for 500 so yeah of course I have to get some Miracle 8 hour cream now this cream you use for everything for your skin for your lips for your hair I'm joking not for your hair but this is a gym and it is only 299. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick voiceover over um, anything I feel like I need to share about the products that I got from Edgar's. So these are the two pore professional primers I got from Benefit. They were having a special where they sold this big one and they gave you the small travel size um, pore minimizer for free. Now, um, I've used a couple of different pore minimizers. This one has to be my favorite because no matter how much I sweat, like it will still keep my pores minimized and which is the whole point because I sweat excessively on my nose and most pore minimizers just disappear after I sweat. So really, really loved this one. I think it's really, really great. It's really soft. It smells like very nice and peachy. Um, It is a little bit pricey, but it lasts very long because um, it's about, okay, well, I've only had it for a month, but um, you only, only need just a little bit and it goes like such... A long way especially because i only use pore minimizer on the places where my pores are visible and i just use like priming water for the rest of my face the priming water that i'm gonna go in with is from smashbox um holiday collection i'm just gonna put some on my brush just to allow a flawless foundation application the foundation i'm gonna be wearing is from dior it is called the backstage foundation now this is a very it's like a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable. The cover is just so sheer and it's so, so lightweight. And I've been wearing it all summer because it's just really, really beautiful. As you can tell, like I don't need to say too much about this foundation because it is stunning. I have been mixing it with my Bobbi Brown Longwear Foundation um, only because um, I generally just like um, more full coverage foundation these days because... Uh, I don't know i don't have a reason why but i do mix it instead of um building it up because i don't want it to finish it's just that great um this retails for about seven or eight hundred rand i was actually shocked because i expected it to be over a thousand because it's just so bomb but it's only um eight hundred 
brand about i'm not too sure i will google it and put it in the description box once i've finished applying my foundation i'm going to be going in with this mac studio fix concealer to highlight my face this is a shade lighter than my normal um foundation shade from mac i'm an nc50 and this is an nc45 i love 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 this concealer but it's it's quite tricky because it dries really really fast so you need to work with it really really fast otherwise you will have problems blending it out otherwise i think it's really really great um it seems as though it won't give you full coverage when you first look at it because of its consistency but it's, it is a really full coverage concealer i think it's because of how it dries once it dries like it covers everything and i think it's absolutely stunning um i'm not so sure how much it retails for but i will google and put it in the description box you can find it at edgar's and you can find it at max standalone stores i'm good i'm gonna be blending out using this very small blending brush which i got from Nura cosmetics on instagram this is the brush that i always use to blend out my concealer i love it because it just doesn't move it too much and it gets into like all the creases and it's just really 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 nice i'm gonna proceed to contouring my face but i'm not gonna do that on cam because um i didn't really get anything that stands out for contouring from edgar's and this video is just showing you guys the products that i got and i really really love so after contouring my face, I'm going to go in and set my concealer using this Elizabeth Arden High Performance Blurring Powder. Now this is the powder that I have been using ever since my Sasha Buttercup finished. Um, really like this powder. I don't really like set, I don't really bake with it, but I just apply it very gently and loosely over my concealer. As you can tell, it's like really, really balm. You don't really need to wait for it to settle because it is a high performance powder retails for about four or five hundred rand um which i think is worth it and it's just more accessible than the sasha buttercup powder and yeah i just love it because it just doesn't have that yellow undertone which sometimes you don't want to go for and um it's just been a dream really to work with now i'm going to go in with some blush i'm using the mac blush in the shade raisin pretty self-explanatory really really beautiful color i love this blush on your darker tones i think it's really really pretty this is by far my favorite product from my whole edgar shopping experience this is the brow contour brow filler it is from benefit this is what i'm be using to fill in my brows to get that natural fluffy brow as you can tell my brows are not filled in they are just concealed and i just went over them with a spoolie and some dry soap i will put this on my youtube video as um a lot of people have been asking me about it on my instagram i love 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 this pencil because of how precise the brow hairs are and it doesn't get blunt so you don't have to sharpen it the pencil is just always sharp and ready to use it's also got two different shades for filling in the brows it's got a lighter shade and a darker shade so if you're someone that struggles with um filling in and blending out the brows it's really really great for you just put on my wig quickly and i'm going to go straight into highlighting my face now this is my favorite highlighter it's from inglot it's called the inglot sparkling dust and it's in the shade 03 as you would have seen this is a product that i got um from edgar's obviously i'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones my nose and the corner of my eyes one of the last things i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this inglot 405 matte lippy as you can tell i've already lined my lips with the brown lip liner this is like a pinkish nudie shade i love 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 this matte it is very comfortable on my lips and it is very long lasting last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set my face with this smashbox primer water i love 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 the size of this setting spray because it can go in very easily into my handbag and i can just take it with me especially because it's summer and i want to keep my makeup refreshed the whole day 
all right guys we have come to the end of my makeup tutorial thank you so so much for shopping if you have any questions or you want to see anything else on my channel just leave me a comment in the comment section like and subscribe to my channel